Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Planning and Project Control Hub and today's video we are going to learn how to develop a dynamic S-curve as this is an important tool for effective monitoring and reporting whether you are a planning engineer, project manager or scheduler understanding how to develop and update the S-curve dynamically will enhance your project control skills by the end of this video you will be able to learn how to extract land and actual progress data how to extract land value and actual value and how to develop a dynamic S-curve as this is a dynamic S-curve by changing the data date everything will be changed dynamically at the end of the week you just have to update your schedule and just to export the data here and by changing the data date everything will be changed here dynamically so by the end of this session you will be able how to develop a dynamic S-curve using the Excel as it update automatically as your project move forward so stay here and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so let's start our today's session I have already opened a file for which I want to make S curve. You see here, this project is already ongoing. If you see here, the schedule percent complete and the performing percent complete. So the project is already ongoing. Now, how to make the S curve? Follow my steps. For the S curve, first of all, we have checked the data date up to which data date the project is updated. So it is updated up to 7 July. Now, for the S curve, we have to take the plan value and for the actual progress, we have to take the earned value. We are assuming that we are making the cross base S curve. So for the plan value, just come here to the activity usage spreadsheet. We have already opened here. Just move it up. And open here. Plan value, plan value cost. This one. Remove this one. Apply. And make sure this must be the weekly basis. Because we are going to make the S curve on weekly basis. So it should be on weekly basis. And now this is on weekly basis. So just copy the data. Control plus C and move to Excel. Test it here. Select all the sheet and auto fit and remove the unnecessary columns. And change this to the number format and the two decimal. Okay. And right here plan cost and cumulative plan cost. Remove the two empty columns because there is no work plan here, so no need to show these weeks. So we just have to remove these two weeks equal to this, equal to this plus this one. Just move forward the formula, we will get the cumulative plan cost. And now for the earned value, we have to take the data from the updated one, not from the baseline. Okay, I already opened the file here. If you see here, we have already assigned the baseline to this one. Okay, so it is understood if we are taking the plan value, it means it has taken the value from the original baseline. And if we are taking the earned value, so it will automatically take value from the updated schedule. Now we will take earned value. Select earned value from here. On will you cast? So remove this one, apply, and skip. Now we get the on will you cast here. If you see here, so just copy it, paste it here, remove all the unnecessary columns, move to left, okay, and right here, actual cost, or you can say the on will you right here, cumulative actual cost is equal to this equal to this plus this just move the formula forward up to because this schedule is updated up to 7 July so we have to move forward the formula up to 7 July one thing I will show you here just out of it first of all just change this 
two numbers. And now one thing I want to show you, the primavera taking the week start by default. So we have to add here the weekend. Okay. Add here weekend. Do six and just move formula forward. It will give you a time period from the week start up to the week end. And the same for here and just remove the date because no need to remove the date. We have already the dates here. So just change formatting of the date. Okay. If you see here, this project is already updated up to 7 July. Okay. And we have taken the data 7 July. Now we will take the progress of the plan value and then we will take the progress of the earned value. Copy the date, paste it here and write here plan percentage, write here cumulative plan percentage, write here actual percentage and write here cumulative actual percentage. It will be equal to this value divided by the total value this one and lock the formula enter so just change all these to the percentage okay let formula down okay and check this formula enter check this formula could be this one okay now move the formula forward and it will give you the planned percent complete and the actual percent complete. They remove all the zero because this project is updated only up to 7 July. So we have to take the data up to 7 July. Okay. Now this is the progress you have taken from the planned value and from the actual value. Now we will develop the S curve from this progress data. Select all the data. Insert recommended chart. Now I will adjust the formatting. Make it a little bigger. Cut it from here and paste in the new sheet. So it will be good. Now do the necessary formattings. Remove this one and do the formattings. So by this way you can make the S curve. Now we will make the dynamic S curve. How to make the dynamic S curve? Because this S curve is not dynamic S curve. So we have to make the dynamic S curve. For the dynamic S curve we have to take a reference table. Why we are making the dynamic S curve? Because sometimes we have to show to the management a small portion of the S curve just for the 4 weeks or 5 weeks like this. And we will not be able to show the whole S curve from the start up to the end of the project. We just have to show them just for the 5 weeks and the 6 weeks. For this purpose generally we develop the dynamic S curve. Now for the dynamic S curve we will take a reference table here so I will show you how to make the dynamic S curve so just follow my step here Let's, for example I will take this video up to the six weeks and paste it here now we will add here a data date data date for example we write here 14 April 2023 so it should be equal to 14 April and all these should be equal to this date minus 7 now we link all the dates together because in future whenever we will change this date the whole data will be changed dynamically now we will fill this by using the formula we will fill this by using the index formula why we are using the index formula because in the future when we will make a change in the data date, so by the power of the index formula everything will be changed dynamically right here is equal to index now it required the array so what type of array we need the plan value okay and lock the formula 
and then we will use the date as the reference. By changing the data date, everything will be changed. So we have to take the date as a reference. For taking the date as a reference, we will use the match formula. Use match. Okay. And if you see here, the formula has some requirement. Now it needs the lookup value. What we are looking for? We are looking for the data date. Okay. Look the data date. Okay. And now it needs if you see here the formula need the array so we need the array of the debt okay and lock the array and then close parenthesis enter so if you see here we got that value here now we will change the date to 10 here enter see everything and now here like the formula see here now we want to show here the cumulative plan value so just drag the formula to this and change the date to here enter okay and see here we need on value or the actual progress see here and change the date here enter and if you see here we need the cumulative actual percentage and change the date here okay just move the formula forward sorry okay change it to the cumulative percentage change it to the actual percentage change into the cumulative actual percentage now everything is very nice and very good now we will develop s curve from this table and it will be a dynamic s curve and it will be changed with the data date if you change the data date here for example i want to change the data date 21 april see here everything will be changed dynamically so just take the data insert here third all chart i will use own templates because i already made use this one okay cut it from here and paste it here okay change the horizontal angle minus 45 so that it will be looking good like this and also bring this curve to here remove the percentage now we will start the necessary formatting here what type of formatting you need this depends upon your own dashboard your own management and your own choice but for me i will do some formatting for you people so that you can learn formatting remove this one and add the legends from here at the top or it will be good at the bottom yeah like this it's okay remove all these also add legion at the top okay and also here at the top okay for the formatting let me change this color so that it will be looking good first of all make a white and now change the color one change the border this one the color should be this one it should be rounded make the shadow inside like this okay if you change the bird color it depends upon your own choice but i will use this one okay now for this one make a little smaller here okay let me expand this one so that both will be equal Expand up to the same size. Make the necessary formatting. Line width this one, and the color should be this one. And make it round corners. Okay. 
Yeah, we didn't make the shadow. Make the shadow also inside. This one. Okay. Now, if you see here, we have made the overall scar from the start up to finish, and we have already made the scar for six weeks. So this scar will be dynamically change with the data date, and this will be static scar. So if we add here data date. And we add here a list of all the weeks. So just come here to the data. Data validation should be list. Select the range of the value. So we have weeks here. Brushing technique starting from 10 March up to the number. This one. Okay. Select. So if you see here, we have all the dates here now. Okay. And this date should be equal to this date. this one enter now select the date here see now change format of the date here home change format to date it should be date this one okay see here change the date date everything will be changed here now why because this date is linked with this date by changing here date the date will be changed here and these all dates and return link to this date so if we change date here automatically the date will be changed here and in return all the dates will change here data under the dates is linked to these dates so it will be dynamically change the data now we will make the necessity formatting you can also make necessity formatting like here if we go to the formatting from this the shape fill shape fill i want to make gradient fill see here you can also make this and i also you can make like this for example it should be this one and then you can adjust from here adjust this one i need the orange here and then i need here this one and then i need here again this one and for the actual curve i need radiant fill this one i need this one and then change into the this color and this one i need light green and then the dark green so by this way you can do also the necessary formatting so it will be looking very good and very appealing and also you can do the necessary formatting here just come here the fill should be gradient fill see here the actual will be automatically appear here and for the plan i want to change this one it should be this one change this to orange and change this one to this color and again it should be dark blue see here and that's how you can develop a dynamic progress curve in excel step by step this method save your time and ensure you putting stay up to date with every progress update if you find this video helpful please give thumbs up and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching be happy and see you in the next video